Hello. In this What It Does video, we're going to take a look at Wave's J37 tape saturation plugin. So let's have a quick look at this, what it looks like. There you go. And we have three tape formula buttons here, which give the main sound. So I will do a quick readout of what that says in the book of each one. EMI tape 888, early 60s, considered lo-fi and grainier compared to the other formulas, with more distortion between 1 kilohertz and 8 kilohertz. EMI tape 811, mid to late 60s, offers better high frequency response and slightly less distortion than the 888 formula. EMI tape 815, early 70s, delivers flatter high frequency response and less distortion than the 811. Recommended when minimal coloration is desired. So there you have it, a brief description of the different tape formulas that we have on these buttons. And let's have a quick look through each one of those. Starting off with the more modern, the 815 at 15 inches per second, so the faster, so you should get more high frequency detail in there. Whereas the seven and a half inch per second will start to roll off the top end and you get more quality in the low end, usual for tape machines. So there we have the 815 70s formula, 15 per second. And if we just switch that to seven and a half, you'll see that tape roll off over here and a little change in the base end. Go back to the 15. So we can compare that to the 811, the later 60s. Did that actually change much? Oh, that's quite a subtle change there between that one. And then the seven and a half speed, a little bit on for this nice little top end addition, which actually the 811 seven and a half is what I often end up using just by clicking through and getting that sound. So interesting that I'm getting this little bit of an extra top, probably add a little bit of a brighter color to it. Back to the 15 and a half or 15 rather. And the triple eight, so the very early 60s formula, compare that to the 70s, slightly different again, overall. And then seven and a half, gentle roll off. Not that much change actually between those two. Where's there? Yeah, quite subtle. So those are the tape formulas. Let's go back to the 70s. And if you're hearing a bit of a noise in the background, that is that Waves plugins for some reason do make my MacBook go a bit crazy when they're open on the screen. Now let's just quickly grab the level here and crank that up and we shall see that change. And the interesting thing about this is you do get this little dip around where the ear is more sensitive up in the sort of two and a half to three kilohertz area, which is interesting to see that. And then bias. We have three buttons for bias. What the heck is bias? Bias refers to the inaudible ultrasonic high frequency tone, usually a sine wave ranging from 40 kilohertz to as much as 100 kilohertz, that's added to improve the fidelity of analog magnetic recordings. Magnetic tape has a non-linear response at low signal frequencies, so the bias increases recording quality by pushing the signal upward into the linear zone of the tape's transfer function. The J37 plugin includes a bias level control. So here we have the uh, 70s 815 and 15 inches per second on their nominal setting. And if I presume we're boosting the level of this frequency on the bias, but it'd be good if somebody actually knows what's going on with that. That's an interesting change where we've gone from the normal quite flat and then back to there, this dip around the, where is that? Two kilohertz, but we're getting a bit more higher frequency change up to the plus five. Ooh, well that goes back up. If we compare that to the original, very little change. Yeah, so the plus three drops down and has a bit more top end to it. So turn that back down. And the only other thing I want to have a quick look at is in the bottom left here where it says model tracks. The original J37 was a four track machine, whereas this is trying to be a stereo machine. And we have tracks two, two plus three and three. I believe 
that the model tracks were the middle two, but I could be wrong on that. So being two and three, uh, again, I'm not a tape expert, but uh, the outside tapes or the outside of the tapes aren't as good as the inside. Could be wrong again. Need a tape expert to explain that to me. So we have tapes or tracks two plus three. And as you'll see, there is a slight difference between these two tracks. So if I go to two, you'll see that just even off. So that's uh, track two and track three is slightly different. And then the combined, you'll see there is a slight difference here. So it's basically two plus three. Um, so if you do want a straight sound for both your left and right channels, you'd use either two or three and they would match or go with two plus three to get that slight difference. And there you have it, the Waves J37 Tape Saturation plugin. Hope you found that useful. See you next time. Bye bye. Mm. The J37, that's the Waves J30 Tape, J37 Tape Saturation Monsieur La. <laughs>